It's a film so chock full of pop culture references, you actually spend more time looking in the background rather than paying attention to the important message the film has to tell. Yes, we're talking about Ready Player One, and this is Sign 5. Ready Player One is based on the 2011 book by Ernst Klein, whilst the film itself was adapted by Steven Spielberg and released in 2018. At face value, the movie is a fast-paced, ripping and spectacular action adventure which is bursting at the seams with numerous references from classic films and TV shows, which no doubt would have had people clambering over each other attempting to spot them all. Yet beyond the nerdfest is a much darker story. To begin with, the world of 2045 is a depressing dystopian environment where poverty and homelessness are rife. In addition, it's noted that after 2027, when the protagonist Wade Watts was born, the city had to endure riots and a major drought, which eventually led to the general collapse of society. The solution to all this misery was for people to escape into the virtual reality world of the Oasis, which in the timeline of the film has been operating for 20 years. For this reason it is large, detailed and has effectively replaced the internet for consumer usage. As to be expected, the massive wealth generated by the Oasis has companies like third-party supplier IOI wanting to control it. Hence the reason why they are presented as the film's antagonists. For this reason, it's no surprise that the CEO of IOI, Nolan Sorrento's avatar, is just a jacked up aggro version of himself. After all, can you imagine if he looked like Yoda, or Gizmo, or even Link Hogthrob, or some other famous sci-fi cutie? Yeah, that kind of wouldn't work. Within the Oasis itself, there's the prospect of making many new friends and possibly even forming relationships, albeit via a person's avatar, who are in fact unknown to the actual users. Currently, this is already present in the online gaming community and chat rooms. However, the realism is significantly boosted when it occurs in a virtual environment, especially once factors like image and touch come into play. Remembering that in the film, an X1 suit allows the user to experience physical contact. Naturally, this would be a huge benefit for any individual who feels awkward about meeting people in real life. However, it also highlights a significant risk. As noted in the film itself, aside from eating, sleeping and bathroom breaks, people aim to spend all their time in the Oasis, which ultimately makes it an unhealthy obsession. Of particular focus for a user is to build up their profile and in-universe wealth. Whilst in the real world, for a user to fully embrace the Oasis, they need to spend more on buying special products and upgrades even at the detriment of their real-life needs. Moreover, when an avatar is killed in the Oasis, all their benefits and wealth is lost. The implication being that to the end user, this is the equivalent of a catastrophe, which can then lead to suicidal thoughts. Through the film, it's clear to see that the future of online immersive entertainment will eventually be virtual reality. As of today, VR already exists, but it's still in its infancy stage and isn't as widely adopted unlike console or PC gaming. Whilst the process of physical movement such as walking and running as seen in the film is still limited. However, it's clear to see that once these technical limitations are overcome and it does find its way into the mainstream market, companies which are the equivalent of gregarious games will make a massive fortune. Especially once people can inhabit these new worlds with their friends, both real and online, using whatever pop culture avatar they're prepared to pay for. Although it's kind of covered off in the movie, you would have to assume that in the history of the Oasis, there would have been extreme levels of sadistic violence and gratuitous sex enacted by people just indulging in their fantasies. Unfortunately, if the Oasis existed in real life, it's likely that this would be an unavoidable side effect. Of all the characters in the film, James Halliday, the deceased creator of the Oasis, is by far the most fascinating, as we discover his brilliance and immense wealth are only matched by his loneliness. Unsurprisingly, like many people in the real world, Halliday sought comfort and solace within the realm of movies, TV shows and video games, which he was then able to recreate in a fully immersive virtual environment. Yet ultimately, even he learned it was no substitute for the real thing. In the end, the film contains a very poignant message about the risks of online gaming addiction and its impact on people. But when it's all said and done, if the Oasis did exist, who wouldn't want to sign up and move in? Finally, there's just one more question to ask. If the Oasis existed, what pop culture character would you choose? Fortunately, there are plenty of Batman and Superman varieties to choose from. And while you ponder that thought, join us again for another Sci-Fi Spective.